today on Lemony Fresh Pops, we have two Toy Tokyo mystery boxes to open. So hopefully we can get a grail from Toy Tokyo. And it'll be pretty interesting because it's the first time I've opened a Toy Tokyo mystery box. So stay tuned to see if we can get anything good. So like I said before, I've never opened a Toy Tokyo mystery box before. And it's going to be pretty interesting to see if we can get something good. So, welcome. Thank you for coming back to Lemony Fresh Pops. Thank you for sticking around to see us open this mystery box. So this mystery box, Toy Tokyo, it is a two pop mystery box. So I should have four pops in this box. Don't know how they package, don't know anything. Never done a Toy Tokyo. I want to do something different. Like I said in my last video, you know, I want to try different things, new things that I haven't done before. So, okay, box is side of box. So, get this guy out. All right, let's look at this thing. All right, Toy Tokyo mystery box. So, the only part is I'm pretty sure they just put both of your mystery boxes in one box. Kind of like how uh, Poptopia did it. And she's like, oh, this person bought two, let's just put them in the same box. So they could literally, you know, manipulate and not give you um, two grails, you know? Like your chance of getting two grails is probably significantly lower, even your chance of getting just one. So, but Toy Tokyo, um, they do some exclusives. They have some con exclusive uh, pops. I mean, I really have not bought from them before, so I don't know much about the company, but I saw that they were doing a mystery box run. Like, you know what, I'll try it out and let the, let the people know how it is. So, okay. So, nothing's wrapped. I saw a quick peek, nothing's wrapped. So, that's kind of annoying um, that there's not a single thing is wrapped, really. So we're just gonna dive in. I'm gonna try not to look. So go ahead and pull out our first one. Three, two, one. A common shit. Uh. Boom. Chewbacca, the little heart candy from that Valentine's Day line. This is a common. Went and guessed this is more than $15. Pretty cheap. Okay. One dud. So we got three more pops. Nothing is in a protector. That's kind of sucky. But we'll just draw again. Three, two, one. I didn't even know they made Kung Fu Panda pops. What the heck? Pop Asia. I'm looking at this. The first time I've had a Pop Asia. What's. Guan, Guan Yu Po. There's a bunch of different Po's. Holy crap. I'm no, I have no clue about this one. This could be worth $100. This could be worth 5 bucks. Guan Yu Po. So he has a little sword in there. Interesting. Guan Yu Po. Okay, we got two more left. So basically... It's like it's a four pop mystery box because the fact that they didn't put them separately So I have no clue which two pops are from you know, which box very annoying actually But three two one I think this thing's a piece of shit. Oh, no, I think this is a freaking I mean, It says entertainment earth on it But this is probably just as bad as a common Includes three pieces collectible cards. Well, let's pop her open. You got your collectible cards. I've never had Funko collectible cards. Bam. I've seen this before um, at some stores. Didn't really know what the cards meant, but interesting to have this weird big ass sticker. Um, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and open the cards. See what we get. I mean, might as well. Uh, I don't think anyone collects these stupid cards anyways. Oh look, we got a holographic one. Like, what? What do you do with these? What do you do with these cards? Thanos? War Machine? And we got the holographic Captain America. 
So, I don't know anything about these cards. If you guys collect Funko cards, or know anyone collects Funko cards, let me know down in the comments, because I don't think these are popular. I bet you these are, you know, a piece of junk. Um, but, but bam. So we got one more pop left. We're gonna see what it is. Three, two, one, and dang it, I already had this. Oh my god. Flareon WonderCon exclusive. I mean, it's not a bad Funko at all. It's not bad, but but there you go, Flareon. I already have it, but not bad. It has the diamond sticker and has that pretty cool WonderCon sticker down there. So overall, the Poe, Flareon, this Chewbacca, and this weird um, Black Widow with the cards. So we'll see which ones work more. We'll see if we actually get the value um, in our box. And we'll come back and talk about it. So we didn't do too bad, I mean, with the Poe and the Flareon, some decent-ish value, you know, the 21, this has 38, you know, and the teens, both like 14, 15, value of these guys. So if we add it up, you know, we get a value total of like 88, I'll put it up here, but we get a value total of about 88 bucks, and we spent 68, $69 to get these and have them shipped. So, value proposition, we made out, but, you know, me trying to sell these and get the value back, eh, is it going to be worth it? Is it going to work out or not? I don't know, but the flying out is pretty cool. I think this one will go up in value for sure uh, for the Pokemon collectors and just the fact that it's the WonderCon sticker and, you know, it's limited, whatever. So, I think this one's definitely going to go up in value. The other ones, eh, I think they're just going to stay, I mean, especially because... You know, this Poe one is vaulted and it's still low. You know, I don't think there's a lot of people out there who even know those exist or want those. You know, just another common and just another one that's, meh, not going to go up in value. But, you know, that's the name of the game. It's Mystery Boxes. I mean, Toy Tokyo. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but again, like I said, my reservations about it are they put both Mystery Boxes in the same box. So it's just like, oh, you have four pops in here. You don't know what's what. You know, um, their tier thing where um, they were like, oh, you could get, here are the tiers of what you could get. But it's like, you could get anything randomly off these tiers and uh, the ones in the picture might not be the ones you get. So it's a little fishy about what you actually are going to get. What are, the, what are the types of pops you will actually be able to get? I mean, they did show some con exclusive ones and I did get a con exclusive one. So I think they're throwing like at least one good, good one in there. But basically if like... You know, because I got four, right? So if these are the two I got, you know, that would have been pretty disappointing. You know what I mean? Like, or like if these are the two you got, you know, pretty disappointing. Because there's, I have no clue. I could, this could have been the two in one of the boxes. It's really hard to know, really hard to tell because of the way they packaged it. So I don't know if I think I'm going to go for another Tor Tokyo mystery box. I mean, unless you guys, what do you guys think? You think this was a good box, bad box? What do you think? 
In my opinion, I think it was a bad box, something I don't want to go for again. But you can leave your um, comments down below and let me know what you think, if you think this is a good box or a bad box. But, I really appreciate you guys coming out to the video. I really appreciate you guys watching me unbox this Toy Tokyo Mystery Box. Well, I'll see you guys next time.